Hi, I'm here with my top 10 Bollywood songs of 2021. I know this is late, <laughs> but I had some problems and so I wasn't able to do it beforehand. But I still wanted to make this video, so here I am. This is not critically the best songs of the year, but these are the songs I like the most. Also, the songs have nothing to do with their films nor videos, though I may reference them. Warning. Before we get into the top 10, here are some honorable mentions. And Tara Siva Jagame. And Tara Siva Jagame. Tara Siva Jagame from Tada. Kitana Muskil Hedeko is a Dunia made in Lagana. Oh, Yara, dear Lagana. Oh, Yara, dear Lagana from Tana. Jana. It's time to dance. Jana. Time to dance. From Time to Dance. Don't leave from Helmet. Pavaya from Tupan. Nayan and Mille, to fire a jelly, Essie fire a jelly, Dill melt the melt the carada. Nayan and Mille, to fire a jelly. Every fire a jelly deal Melt to melt the carada From Hasin Dilwaba Tere nama kahe Sophia Arth kya Tu bata Hey Roshini Sophia Sophia from 99 songs Bally Gaddy from Tagaz. Fun, 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 Hataki. Fun, 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 Yara Matla Beti, Terry Yaria Yaria Yara Matla Beti, Terry Yaria Haria Matla Be Yaria Unplugged from Girl on the Train Bansuri from Hamdo Hamare Do To the top 10 number 10 oh that's five <laughs> number 10 comes from koi janena it's the only song i liked and it's the only song i reacted to i actually watched it twice in the movie and then at the end of the movie i watched it again number 10 is harfan mola i also like the fusion of a cabaret latin arabic sound and i also like the sultry sizzling vocals from the female singer and the smooth soulful sound of the male singer Number nine comes from Soyavanti. Soyavanti. It's a pretty short soundtrack. It only has four songs. I made this list before I saw the movie. And the movie has another song, a patriotic song. But I've only heard it once in the movie. So we're going to rank the other four songs. Number four would be Mary Yara. Number three would be Ayla Re Ayla. Two and one were the hardest because I kept debating what should be my number nine pick. But in terms of the soundtrack, number two is going to be Tip Tip Song. I actually do like the remake. I think it's good. I like it. Uh, 
I love all of the musical breaks of Tip Tip Song, and I really like the first verse with Aki Agnik, and I love the last verse with Una Narayan. So, anyway, that's not the pick, though. And so you guessed it. Number one, and my number nine pick is Naja. I quite like the chill club beat, and I enjoy the two singers, especially the female singer. Naja, Naja, Naja. Number, oh god, I really don't know how to count. Number eight comes from Satya Meva Jayate 2. Just in terms of the soundtrack, not the film, I think it's a really nice soundtrack. It's well rounded, and I feel like it checks off a lot of the boxes when it comes to a Bollywood soundtrack. We have a dance track, check. We have an island song, check. We have a romantic song, check. We have a patriotic song, check. We have a religious song, check. Okay. Do we have a remake? Yes. Not only that, it has a remake and a Punjabi remake. On the soundtrack, I really enjoy Mary Zindagi Hey Too. Mary Zindagi Hey Too. Mary Zindagi Hey Too. But my number eight song is Tenulinga. I just think it's a fun, enjoyable dance track, and I really appreciate it for just being that. Tenulinga, Tenulinga. That's all I know. Number seven comes from Shia Shah. Shia Shah was a great soundtrack that really complemented its film. I'm sure from this year's standouts were Ratan Lambian and Ranja. Really love Ranja. This is the only part I know. But my personal favorite song from Shia Sha was Kabitum Hey. The song is quite haunting in its sad happiness or happy sadness. And the singer is perfect for this cathartic composition. I can't sing this one. So just enjoy. Number six comes from Tuesdays and Fridays. It's a guilty pleasure, and the fact that it's above Kabitum Hey and any song from Shia Shah is almost embarrassing. This was one of the soundtracks I heard earlier in the year, and it's probably one of the soundtracks I've listened to the most. I think the songs are fun and catchy, and actually, it's one of the soundtracks I'm most critical of. I can tell you the things I like and the things I don't like, and sometimes they're the same thing. As critical as I am of Fomiteri, I can also tell you I was trying to learn the chorus. Critically, the best song on the soundtrack is Hanjuan, sung by Shreya Goshal, but my pick is another Shreya Goshal song, Funky Mahabit. It gives off that teeny 2000s early 2010s vibe it reminds me of another song called hey dj it reminds me of something i would hear on muje fanship karogi or love kadian and i actually do like those movies don't judge me very merry in my heart but the funky buddy very merry in my heart but the funky buddy fun 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 funky oh there Number five comes from Chehere, which is not much of a soundtrack. But the first time I heard this song, it was Love at First Listen. I actually even love at first sight. The video has them and has me. That's not the point. <laughs> I love this romantic song and the singer sounds so soothing and scrumptious on the track. The music is moving and melodious and the song just feels heartfelt and genuine. <laughs> Number four comes from Bell Bottom. Ooh, Bell Bottom. <laughs> Bell Bottom is a nice soundtrack that I just don't really get into. I feel like it kind of lulls a bit. I wish that Kia Mangade had a bit of the magic of Kabitum Hey, and I wish that Marjavan had a bit more backbeats and tempo like Rangadaria. But what I'm about to say will probably dismiss my criticism of what I just said because my number four song is Sakyan 2.0. I love this dance track. I feel like it's probably the biggest guilty pleasure on the list. 
it's calm, it's chill, but it has just enough pep and it's catchy that it makes you want to dance along. And I really like the vibe of the song. I feel like I played it a lot this year. It's one of my go-tos when I'm going somewhere in my car. <laughs> I can't sing it, but I like it. Number three comes from Boots, The Pride of India. This song was given a disservice. It wasn't in the movie, but then it makes sense why it wasn't in the movie. But then why does this song exist if it wasn't in the movie? But then I'm happy that this song exists because I really like it. But then again, it wasn't in the movie. It's a circle. It's a circle of life. It's a circle of discontent. Number three is Rama Rama. I wish they had saved this song for a different film, a better film. But I really like this Garba song. It's fun, entertaining. It has a lot of interesting sounds and instruments. It's vibrant, energetic, has a bouncy beat. So it's really good for a Garba. And it has nice vocals. Number two comes from Shidat. Shidat is a great soundtrack and I enjoyed the slow songs the most. Actually, if the dance track was a bit better, then I would say the soundtrack was top notch. My three favorite songs, which were all fighting for the top spot of number two. I really love Hum Dumb. I think it's a beautiful song. And for a while, I really did think I was going to pick Chita because I love that one as well. But I decided to go with Sadat, the title track. Sadat felt like a passion project. It felt like a Sadat song. The singer sang with the amount of Sadat that is needed for that song. There's a lot of heart and soul in the composition. Number one. Number one comes from Mimi. Mimi is my favorite soundtrack. It's very entertaining with its eclectic, dynamic sound. There's not a dull moment on the soundtrack. My favorites are Parun Sundari. Hi, Mary Parun, 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 Parun Sundari. And Rockabye Baby. I can sing all the lyrics to that song that are in English. <laughs> Mimi was one of the movies that allowed the songs to shine in the film. Sometimes you can watch a movie and the songs don't really stand out in the movie, but then you listen to the soundtrack and you're like, oh, the songs are pretty good. And then sometimes songs can really stand out in a movie and you're liking them. And then you're listening to the soundtrack and the songs don't seem that good. Whereas with Mimi, the songs are great in the film and the songs are also great outside of the film. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I cried during three of the songs while watching the movie. Hututu, Chote Sichiraya, and my number one pick, Riaide. Actually, I reacted to that song and I cried. It moved me. It feels magical and introspective. I feel like it's an experience and it's a song that lingers and stays with you. my favorite part so that is my list of the top 10 songs of 2021 i don't think it was a strong list this year was quite disappointing when it comes to music so let's hope that the next year is a lot better bye